To see that Thomas Oriental's life is in ruins, all you have to do is walk to the back of his Rue St. Anne workshop. Look beyond the brightly colored canvases and grinning paper mache zoo animals, and you'll see the rubble, the dusty piles of rocks, wood, and unpainted carnival decorations. On top of those, literally, you'll see his funeral clothes. The 51-year-old mask maker lost both his mother and his wife in the weeks after the earthquake. Thomas isn't alone, though. He has children and a cadre of artists who spend their days painting placemats and souvenirs in the cool shade provided by the tree outside his shop. On a handmade wooden chair with a woven straw seat, Thomas quietly holds court, smiling and waving to familiar passers-by. But for weeks, there's been pain in his eyes. Bon, eh, m'kababdjo, ou konne? Kounya m'bakabalo de bizi, sa la se bizi a tombe net la, parce que m'pè d'on ban machan dis gitan dan, et puis mwen mèm mwen te gata prete 1500 dola haïtien. Wren? Like most other artists here, he's not sure how to go about rebuilding his home or his shop. But he opens it each day anyway to show people that art is still being made in Jacmel. And even though the timing isn't right yet, he's ready and willing to work. Well, let me stop going down for a minute.